Hi, Children's House 2. Today I want to read and share with you a story that's really special to me. It's called Knitting Nell, um, and it's by Julie Gersold Rote. That's my mom. So when I was a kid, my mom worked really hard to come up with this story, um, and she painted all the pictures. I got to watch that whole process. I could see her writing. I could see her as she sat in her studio at her desk with paints and papers and pencils scattered all across the desk um, as she carefully illustrated every page of this book. Um, so Knitting Nell. There we go. This is Nell. She knits a lot. A boy named Danny Tucker once told her she had a voice like a cricket with a pillow over its head, and she believed him. So Nell didn't talk a lot. Sometimes she knits at the park so she can listen to the trees. Her friends often come by to chat and Nell listens to them. Her friends say, I'm so glad school is over. I think my mom can take us to the beach. Who's coming? Count me in. Me too, I'll bring snacks. I got a new purple two-piece and matching goggles. Nell, how can you be knitting scarves when it's summer outside? Well, says Nell, I'm making scarves for, but her friends don't listen. I just don't get it. Do you, Delia? And they laugh. As Nell listens, she knits a blanket for her aunt's new baby. She knits lots of socks and hats and mittens for the children's home. She knits more socks and hats and mittens for people in a country far away whose leaders are at war. She knits matching scarves for grandma and grandpa, a scarf for mom and dad. Here she says, seriously, dad, you can wait until winter to wear it. And a scarf for her brother. Just a few more inches, he says. And somewhere in the midst of all this, Nell makes a beautiful sweater for herself. And decides to enter it in the county fair. Her friends say, let's go see that new movie. I hear it's too scary. I personally would love to see Princess Peanut or Dogs in Love. Here's Nell sitting on the dock, knitting. And weeks later, Nell and her friends are very excited about the annual county fair. Nell says, bye, I'll meet you later. At the end of the day, everyone looks forward to the champion's ceremony under the big tent. Nell and her friends find seats together. Friends of Green County, it is time for the announcements of the Grand Champions. Most obedient dog, Pickles. Prettiest cow, Lucy. Best sheep, Daisy. 
most creative seed art, art Danny Tucker. Tastiest Cake, Andy Harper, Best Pickles, Dina Jones, and Best Knitting, Nell Nielsen. Nobody is really surprised when Nell wins first place for her sweater. But for all those gifts of socks and hats and mittens, she is also awarded a beautiful special medal from the mayor of her town. For outstanding efforts in the service of others, Nell Nielsen. Nell's family is so proud and her friends are amazed. Nell still knits a lot. And she listens a lot. But now, with her happy Cricket's voice, Nell talks a lot too. Loop that over and there you go. Good, yes, that's perfect. Okay, Danny, a little looser on your next row. So she's teaching her friends to knit. The end. I hope you enjoyed it. Nugget's here to say hello. Have a wonderful day.